Hey guys, in this tutorial, we'll cover how to create this TikTok agent that manages your quote page and posts videos like these every single day. Growing your account, you can see this account has got 1.2 million followers by posting these very simple quotes. And as a bonus, I'll also show you guys how to generate all the ideas for these quotes and also how to mass produce the final videos from your generated quotes. I've been getting a lot of requests for this automation, so I've decided to drop this video earlier than I was planning because it's a relatively simple automation to build. So I'm going to make this video short and simple, holding your hand every step of the process. So if you run into any issues with setting up this automation, then please let me know in the comments. I've also provided all the resources you need for this tutorial in our school community, such as all the site links and API key links, the ChatGPT prompt, all the code you need for this tutorial, and last but not least, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find the Google Sheets template, Canva template, and the blueprint for this automation, which you can just download and import straight into your mate.com to make the setup as easy as possible. So if you're not already part of Automation Academy and you want access to all of the resources mentioned, then just head over to the first link in the description and you can just check it out. With that said, let's go over the framework for this lesson. I split this up into three main components, the idea generation, the production, and the publishing of our quote videos. So first for the idea generation, we're gonna be using ChatGPT or Quent AI to generate 365 quotes about a niche that we like. It's also gonna generate the caption for the video as well. And then for the production, we're gonna be using a Canva template that's gonna generate a batch of video quotes looking like this. And finally, for the publishing, we're gonna feed those videos into this simple automation that's gonna retrieve the caption from the video quote, get the download link, and upload that video to TikTok and Instagram for you. So it's gonna manage the whole publishing side of this process. So hopefully that clears some things up. And without further ado, let's dive into the actual tutorial. So for the idea generation, we need to generate 365 quotes for the videos. And we can do this using ChatGPT or Quint AI. So once you've made your decision, just head over to your chosen AI tool. For this tutorial, I'll be using ChatGPT. And now we need a good prompt to generate the quotes. So if you just head over to the description and scroll down, you'll find the ChatGPT or Quent AI prompt. You can just simply copy and paste that prompt. And this is gonna generate 365 quotes related to whatever niche you want in a table format. It's also going to generate a caption for each quote with one emoji and five relevant hashtags. So all you have to do is just change the niche to whatever niche you'd like to make the videos about. So for this video, I'm going to pick travel. And once you've done that, you can just send the prompt. And you should get your 365 quotes about your niche in a table. So you can just open that up. And as you can see, there are 365 quotes. So you can just go ahead and download this table by going to the top right and pressing this download icon. And you should get your quotes as a CSV file. Before we upload those quotes to Canva though, we do need to import them into this Google spreadsheet with these exact columns, the index, quote, caption, and status. So for this exact spreadsheet, you can just head over to the description. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find the Google Sheets template underneath the resources. If you click on the link, you'll be taken to this page and it will ask you to make a copy of the template. Just press the make a copy button and you should have your own copy. So now we can actually import the quotes. Just head over to the top left and click File, Import, and then go to the Upload tab. Just drag your CSV file. And for the import location, you can select Append to Current Sheet from the dropdown and then press Import Data. And you won't see any of your quotes because if you scroll down, we appended the quotes to the sheet. So you can just select the 365 quotes, copy and paste, and just select this box and they should be in the right columns now. So that's it for the idea generation. We can now bulk upload those quotes to a Canva template to create a batch of videos like these. So to get this exact template, just head over to the description, scroll all the way down, and you should find the Canva template link. Just click on that. And you should be able to use the template for a new design. So just press this button. And you should get one video like this. You can just use this as a template to generate as many videos as you want. So we're going to generate all of our videos using Canva's bulk gray feature. If you head over to the app section and go to the more from Canva segment, you should find the bulk gray feature. So just press on that. And Canva is only going to allow you to import 300 rows at once. So a workaround to this is if you head over to your Google spreadsheet, then go to the 300 row and delete all the other rows after that row. 
just delete and just download it the way I showed you how to do earlier. Then you can just upload the 300 row sheet. And then once we go through these steps, you can go back to the Google sheet and import the 65 other quotes. And you should just get the 365 video quotes if you just upload them in two different batches. So anyway, once you've imported your spreadsheet, you should get these data fields. And we just need to connect the quote field to the template because the only thing that's going to be changing throughout these videos is the quote. So you can just press on the text right here and just go to the top left and press connect data. And you should find the quote data field right here. Just press this. And now the quote will change each time a new video is made. So you can just press continue. By the way, if you want to change the length of these quotes, you can just extend the video to however long you want. So let's say you wanted a 30 second quote, you can just extend to 30 seconds. And now each of the 365 videos will be 30 seconds long. But for this example, I'm just going to keep it at 10 seconds. And if you want to change the background to the video, let me just quickly show you how to do that right now. So just head over to a site called pexels.com and you can use any video you want as the background. But since we're doing quotes about travel, I'm going to find another plane window video like this one. So I'm just going to search up plane window view and just make sure you have the videos tab selected. And in the filters, you can go to the orientations and you can select vertical to filter all the videos that are vertical. So this one looks pretty nice. Just download the video you want in the top here. And then back in Canva, you can select the background, right click, detach video from background. Then you can just delete that, grab your new background. Obviously, if there's sound, you can just head over to the volume and just click mute. And then you can right click and press set video as background. And you should have a new background. And once you're ready, you can press generate 299 designs. And boom, once you've repeated this with the other 65 quotes, you should have your 365 video quotes. So if we zoom out, you can see that this is in fact 365 video quotes. And now that we have all of our quote videos, we can finally move on to the actual TikTok agent. And we're going to be using make.com for this. There are no coding skills required because make.com is a no code platform. And if you haven't created your make.com account yet, then check out the link in the description description to create one. So once you have your make account, just create a new scenario. And if you want to speed up the process, this is the time to fetch the blueprint from the description. Underneath the Canva template, you'll find the TikTok agent blueprint. So you can just download and import that straight into your make.com. But if you want to follow step by step, just create a new module and search up the Google Sheets search rows module. It will be this one right here. Just select the copy of A5 quotes for TikTok page and the sheet name needs to be sheet one. And then the filter needs to be status equal to to do. And you also need to set the limit to one to return one result because we want to upload one video at a time. And once you've done that, just hit save. And this will filter all of the quotes that haven't been done yet. So the next module that we need to add is the Dropbox creates slash update a share link. This one right here. The way of selecting files needs to be set to map a file slash folder path. And this is when we need to upload all of our quotes to a Dropbox folder so that our agent has access to all of them. So just head over to Dropbox, link will be in the description, and create a new folder. Folder can be anything you want, but I'm just going to name it Canva Bulk Videos. And once you've done that, just hit create. And now we need to upload all of our Canva videos. So you can head back to your Canva and we need to download all of the videos by going to the top right and pressing the share button, download. And here you need to select all of the 300 pages. And where it says download pages as separate files, you need to just select that. I'm just going to download 10 for this example. And once you have your videos, you can just select them all and upload them to this Dropbox folder. Perfect. So now that we have all of the videos in a Dropbox folder, just copy the name of your Dropbox folder and head back to make.com. And then for the file path, just do slash and then paste it. And now we want to select the index variable from our Google spreadsheet, but do slash and then press the index variable and then put dot mp4 because the videos are an mp4 file. And what this is going to do is when the Google sheet finds a quote that hasn't been done yet, it's going to grab the index. So let's say it grabs the first quote with an index of one. It's then going to create a share link for the video that is called one.mp4 because it's the index. So it's going to be this video right here, one.mp4. And as you can see, the quote on the video is step outside and let the road decide, which is the same as the quote in our spreadsheet step outside and let the road decide. So it's going to be able to retrieve the correct caption for that video as well. 
and in the Dropbox module, you don't have to change anything else. You can just hit save. And then all that's left to do is just upload that video to two social media platforms to our TikTok page. And we're also going to upload it to Instagram so that we can just get more reach. So you can add another module and you need to search up the router and click on this router module. So first we're going to upload it to our TikTok page. And unfortunately, there isn't a TikTok app inside of Make. So we need to use a tool to be able to upload that video to TikTok. We could use a tool called AYR Share, but the pricing is kind of expensive. So instead, we're going to use a tool called Blotato, which is much more affordable. And on top of that, they also give you a seven day free trial. So I'll put the link to this in the description. Not to mention, you also get a bunch of other cool features. But in this video, we're just going to be uploading the video to TikTok. So we're not going to be using any of those. And in order to connect this to make.com, we are going to be needing the API key for this video. So just head over to the settings in the bottom left. And if you scroll down, you'll find your API key. If you press the generate button, you should get your API key. Just make sure to save it somewhere safe. And now we can get started on uploading the video to TikTok with Blotato. So just add a new module and search up the HTTP make a request. So first we need to actually upload the video to Blotato so that it can then upload that video to TikTok. So for the URL, just head over to the description. And if you go to the Blotato upload video HTTP request, you can copy and paste the URL from here. And make sure the method is post because we're gonna make a post request. Now this is where we need to provide the API key in the headers. So just add a header and the name needs to be Blotato dash api dash key it needs to be this exactly otherwise it won't be able to authorize and the value just needs to be the api key that you got earlier so just copy that api key and then paste it here and then we need to send the request content so for the body type just select raw the content type needs to be json and for the request content just head back and copy this json code right here underneath the request content and then just paste it and then just make sure this variable right here is your Dropbox update a share link. You just need to select the download URL variable from here. But if it's already a valid variable, you don't have to change it at all. And for the pass response, you need to just select yes. This is going to allow us to reference a piece of data. So just press save once you're done. And we just need to make another request to upload the actual video to TikTok. And you can just clone this module right here. By the way, you can auto align your scenario by pressing this auto align button right here. Okay, and now we need to put in a new URL to upload the video to TikTok. So just head back and scroll down until you find the Blue Tato upload TikTok video HTTP request. And then just copy and paste the URL right here. And the end should be slash posts. The method should also be a post method like the one before. You can leave the authorization and you can just delete this request content right here because we're going to be putting something different. So if you head back and copy and paste the request content from here into the request content field, it should look something like this. And this is the exact structure you need to upload a TikTok video with Blotato. So I just saved you a bit of time with this. You don't have to research the documentation. So for the text, just delete the variable, scroll down to the Google Sheets variable section, and then press the caption variable because the text just means the caption for the video. And for the media URLs, we now need to grab the URL from our uploaded Blotato video and provide it here. So you can delete this old variable. And because we haven't run this automation yet, the variable hasn't been detected. So instead, we can just make the variable. So just put double curly brackets and then just put the number of this module. So mine is four, four, and then dot data and then dot URL and then double curly brackets again. And it should transform into a variable, but it's going to have this outline because it hasn't been defined yet. And that's completely fine. And for the account ID, this is going to be the TikTok account you're going to be posting to. So if you head over to Blotato and connect your TikTok account by pressing the login with TikTok button, you should see your connected account right here. So I just added a test account and we need the account ID. So you can just press copy account ID on the account you want. And then you can just replace these four digits with the new account ID. It's always going to be four digits, by the way. You can just set the pass response to no, because we don't have to use any data from this module. And then you can just hit save. And now we need to make it so that each time a video is uploaded, the status column for that quote is set to done. So we can do this by adding a module called the Google Sheets Update A Cell module. Just click on this. For the spreadsheet ID, just select your spreadsheet 
the sheet name needs to be sheet one and the cell that we want to update is the column and then the row number so the column that we want to update is the d column the status column and then the row number that we want to update is whatever row the current quote is so we can do this by scrolling down until you find the row number variable and this is going to fetch the row number of the current row and the value can be set to done and then just press save and now that we uploaded the video to tiktok we can also upload it to instagram so just add the instagram rates a real post module and you need to select the page that you want to post on and then for the video url you can just select the dropbox share link so just go to the variables and press the download url variable here and for the caption you need to select the caption variable from our google spreadsheet so just select the caption variable and then just press save if you want to change the scheduling settings just head over to the first module and you'll find this clock icon just press it and for example if you wanted to make it so that it runs every day at 6 p.m and post a video you can select the interval you want from this drop down so i'm just going to select every day and then you can change the time to whatever you want 6 p.m works fine for me and once you're done you can just hit save and it's going to ask you to activate your scenario so that it can run just press activate scenario and you can see in the bottom it says daily at 6 p.m and it's switched on this means that the agent is now up and running Congrats if you've made it this far because you've just set up your own TikTok agent that uploads a batch of AI generated video quotes that you created using Canva and ChatGPT to your TikTok page every single day, managing and growing your account for you. So let's actually run this automation and see if it works. It should get the video from our Dropbox folder, create a share link and then upload that video to TikTok. And by the way, this is the account that I'm going to be testing on. So let me just run it once to test it out. It's going to get that Dropbox download link and it's going to upload the video to Blotato. And then finally, it's going to upload the video to TikTok. So if we head over to the Google Sheet, the status of the first quote is set to done. And if we head over to the test TikTok account, you can see that the video quote was uploaded successfully. So let's just press on that. And it also included the correct caption. You can see that this is the exact caption. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, then consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to see a specific automation in the future, then just let me know in the comments. And if you get any issues or errors setting this automation up or with any step of the process, then just comment it down below and me or somebody else can help you out. And just remember, do not hesitate to ask as many questions as you want. There is no such thing as a stupid question. And again, all the resources for the tutorial, along with the ready to use blueprint, will be in my community. We also have a growing automation library of tutorials like this one with blueprints, templates and prompts for each one. So if you want to check it out, just go to school.com slash AliAutomates or go to the first link in the description. Alright guys, keep automating, keep building. I love you guys and peace.